Hey guys, welcome to TOC. This is Abhishek out here. In this lecture, we are going to write a program which records the frequency of all the characters in a given string. So, uh, let's take up a let's take up an array of characters. Say the elements are A, B, A, B, L, M, N, T, K, L, A. So we have to count that how many times A is present throughout this array, B is present throughout this array and once the traverse character is appearing means the if the frequency of A has been recorded then A should not be processed again. This is our uh, main uh, you know fundamental. So uh, let us uh, write a code list class and the name of the file is uh, so our file name and this is the end of okay uh, in here the main method public static void main end of of main let's take a pen let's take a string string s equals the elements are a b a b b a b c d e l m k whatever it is <coughs> these are the elements now we need to convert this uh, it's good to convert this uh, string in into a character array so care care c equals s dot to care array the conversion has been done and the length of this uh, array is c dot length okay so as we know that uh, we have to compare the contents I mean uh, we will we'll take two pointers i and j and we'll keep i fixed and j will be traversing through 0 to n and we will compare the content of that index which is pointed by i to the index which is pointed by j and we will count will will uh, take a counter which will keep on incrementing each time the match is done so uh, <coughs> this is a for loop mm, declare here int i equals 0 j equals 0 set equals 0 this not as as z let's take it as a counter okay so uh, i equals 0 no trouble mm, z plus plus i and in here d j the loop for j mm, j equals 0 j smaller than s z plus plus j and we are going to compare the content of c of j with c of i c of i if it is so then we have to increment the pointer the counter we have incremented and when this for loop gets completed i mean uh, when uh, this condition goes false then this loop will be terminated so outside this loop we can print the message that the character c of i is present
counter. times okay and now when this uh, loop uh, when again uh, the i is going to start for the next value then the previous counter value is going to be added so it's always a good practice to reset the value counter okay let's check this this is our file name so uh, java c java okay a is present f four times b is present three times again a is coming so we need to make some changes in our code list well if i is pointing j then j has to be traversed from a to the end i mean from start till the end so if j is pointing a and if i is pointing a and j is j has started the traversal then we need to think that if the content is same when uh, the value of i is i is smaller than that of uh, the value of j is smaller than that of i then the test should not be done so for that we need to put a condition over here if j is smaller than i j is smaller than i and the content is also sh and the content is also same that means c of i c of j then break so it will come out from the current loop means it will come out from this j loop okay all right so this end of j loop okay and this is the end of end of i loop okay all right so this is done and let's check again what's happening actually something we are some weird kind of uh, output we are getting so well when the i completes its traversal men means uh, when j equals sz minus uh, 1 then definitely definitely we need to put print this uh, message i mean uh, this test should be performed to print the print the occurrence of all the characters <coughs> now we are getting proper result a is present four times is it so? Two, three, four, yeah. And then uh, B is present three times. One, two, three. So the we are getting the proper result. So the context is whenever uh, J is smaller than uh, I and uh, the contents are also same, then the uh, the I mean uh, uh, that process should be stopped. For that we have uh, introduced this uh, this condition over here test condition over here and whenever j completes its traversal then the frequency of that particular character for which j is uh, running out should be printed and this is how we could do it thank you gentlemen god bless